Well, if you love Legos, listen up. The Brick World Lego Expo is back in Indianapolis this weekend, and we hear that everything is awesome there. It's being held at the State Fairgrounds, and it's not too late to get tickets if you're interested in going to see all the spectacular creations. Joining me with details is Lego enthusiast himself and exhibitor Nick Gamitzfelder. Good to see you, Nick. Thanks Thank for you. coming back. I think you were here a couple of years ago yes, when sir, I, I came back to town, and you brought an incredible setup display and this time you have it but this weekend this is going on Saturday and Sunday for the hobbyists and enthusiasts who love Legos tell me about it well you know this is uh, our 13th year here in Indy uh, lucky number 13 just the celebration of play celebration of the brick and uh, you know we're gonna have a huge venue this year we okay. have 65 displayers oh wow and over 65,000 square feet of very large very elaborate incredible Lego creations tell me about some of the displays that some people will be able to see well we're talking uh, about first of all the GBC the great ball contraption is a giant Rube Goldberg it's always a fan favorite yeah sole purpose is to move, move a little soccer ball. Now, do the guys up at Purdue have something to do with that? I don't know if the guys up at Purdue or not, do or not, but uh, you know, this originated at Brick World. Okay. And it actually, there holds a world record. Oh, wow. For having the largest one at one point uh, for the uh, GBC. And the, it's mechanical Lego creations that just move this little soccer ball around in an endless loop. That's pretty cool. What did you bring with you this morning? I brought a couple uh, parts of my display. My display is Stud Sand Beach, and uh, we got some over here on our right. We've got a Ferris wheel, what actually runs. That's awesome. And we also have another little ride I created called the Cyclone, which is, uh, my display has a lot of movement, a lot of, a lot of interaction with the public. Does that make it, uh, I mean, it steps it up a level when your your piece can actually move like it does and you can put some movement into oh, it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it really draws the crowds in. It yeah. really draws the public in. It provides inspiration right. for our kids. And that's what we're hoping to do here is to provide inspiration for others so they can come see some of these incredible creations, go home and start playing with their Lego and stuff. And then you have this, this looks like some type of stadium. Yeah, a little stadium thing I created. I always try to make something with a lot of color, something that pops. Right. Uh, it really draws the people over to the display. They really like to see, you know, just the vibrancy of the colors and stuff like that that you see with something like this. And it just really inspires. Yeah. And this is just not only for adults because you mentioned that your daughter even made this here. So yes, she did. Kids even get involved. Oh, absolutely. My daughter will be with me all weekend. This is for all ages, you know, even the kids at heart, you know, yeah. grown ups like us. But, uh, you know, this venue is going to be all weekend long, under three, getting free. Uh, $16 at the door. You can okay. buy tickets pre-line online for $14. So, and also um, first responders, military, at, show your ID, you get them for $11. That's fantastic. And before we go, there's a celebrity that will also be in attendance too. I hear it's uh, Zach from Lego Masters. Yeah, we're going to have a couple of people from Lego Masters this year come, come in, so awesome. you'll be able to meet them. That show was a big, po it was very popular and still is to oh, very much today. So. Yeah. All right, Nick Gamitzfelder, I appreciate you coming Absolutely. out and talking and bringing you. some of your work with you. And tell your daughter this is pretty nice. Oh, she it's loves really building. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you'd like to, for more information on this event, it's Saturday and Sunday again at the fairgrounds. Just go to our website, fox59.com slash links. 914, let's send it over to Jim. Jim, do you have any Legos around anywhere? You know what? I, I used to have a ton of them, but uh, I finally got rid of them all. Yeah, it's uh, but that was such fun as a kid. Of course, my girls got to play with them as well uh, when they were younger. 915, guys. Hey, have